Hello everyone. Welcome to another smart money video. Watching this video can save you potentially millions, so do not skip it. At the end of the video, we are going to share an important investment lesson, which can make or break your investment portfolio. Do not ever miss it as watching it will reduce the risk of losing a lot of money in investment. You must be flooded with multiple advice on TV, newspaper, YouTube channels, real estate agents, stockbrokers, or wealth advisors talking about various investment opportunities. They all promise you fantastic returns on investments, luring you into believing that this is the best thing for you. Most of us fall into this trap. Why? Because there is one important secret that they do not disclose. It is such a pity that people fall to this trap. Every year, billions of dollars are lost in investment as this secret is not known to people. What is this secret? Do you have to go to an Ivy League business school to understand this secret? No, not at all. This is extremely easy to understand, and we will explain this to you in next 5 minutes. Today, we are delving into an essential topic for all investors, managing risks in investment. In our last video on understanding risks on investments, we learned about the 5 types of risks. If you have not watched that video, I request you to first watch that video and then come back to watch this one. It is important that we first understand the types of risk before we learn how to manage them. So, let us embark on this journey together and unlock the secrets of risk management in the world of investments. Let us start with our lemonade stand example. Imagine you are a 10-year-old entrepreneur, and you decide to start a lemonade stand. You invest your pocket money to buy lemons, sugar, and cups. However, as you set up your stand, you notice dark clouds approaching. To manage the risk of rain ruining your sails, you move your stand under a shelter. You also decide to set up shop during sunny afternoons when more people are likely to buy lemonade. What are you doing here? You are essentially monitoring the environment, identifying the potential risk, and taking necessary steps to managing it. Similarly, managing risks in investments involves making wise choices to protect your hard-earned money. First, we will start with understanding how to manage market risk. Market risk, also known as systematic risk, is the risk that your investment may be affected by overall market movements. Just like the price of lemons fluctuates, so do the prices of stocks and other investments. To manage market risk, diversification is key. Diversifying means not putting all your eggs in one basket. Instead of investing all your money in one stock, spread your investments across different assets, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. That way, if one investment does not perform well, others may help balance the losses. Similarly, do not buy only one mutual fund scheme or invest in real estate projects of only one developer. While investing in commodities, do not only look at one asset only. For example, do not only buy gold, explore other assets as well such as silver or oil etc. If possible, do not put more than 5% of your investable money in one stock or asset. As Warren Buffett famously said, diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you are doing. By diversifying, you reduce the impact of market fluctuations on your overall portfolio. Other way to manage market risk is hedging against fluctuations. There are hedging products available in some asset class, namely stocks or currency. These are called derivative products, which require deeper understanding and knowledge. If your portfolio is large, then it makes sense to take services of some expert to guide you on hedging. Next way is through regular monitoring and managing the downside by using stop loss. You just cannot invest and forget. You need to regularly monitor. Also, if you are into trading in stocks, ensure that you minimize your losses. Whenever it is looking doubtful, cut your losses. These are simple ways of managing market risk. For common people, best way to start the journey and manage the risk is to either invest in index funds or a reputed well-diversified mutual fund. If you want to invest in stocks directly, choose large cap stocks only to start with and have a long-term horizon. In stock market, long-term means a minimum of three years. Next to understand is managing credit risk. 
Credit risk is the risk that a borrower may not be able to repay their debt obligations. Just like lending money to someone for lemonade supplies carries a risk of them not paying you back, investing in bonds and loans can also carry credit risk. To manage credit risk, research the creditworthiness of the borrower. For example, if you are investing in a company's bonds, check its credit rating. Higher rated bonds are generally considered less risky because the likelihood of the issuer defaulting is lower. As Benjamin Franklin wisely said, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Knowing the credit quality of the borrower can help you make informed investment decisions. Again, remember the golden rule, higher the return, higher the risk. Millions of dollars have been lost as investors get lured by a higher rate of return promised by a company on bonds or deposits. I am not saying that you should totally shun these investments. However, the prudent thing to do is to study the credit rating of the company, read about news and reviews and if you are satisfied, then allocate only a small portfolio of your portfolio to high-risk bets. Next is to manage inflation risk. Inflation risk is the risk that the purchasing power of your money may decrease over time due to rising prices. As the cost of lemonade supplies increases, your profits may shrink. Similarly, Inflation can erode the real value of your investment returns. To manage inflation risk, consider investing in assets that historically outpace inflation. For example, stocks have historically provided returns that exceed inflation rates. As Peter Lynch famously said, know what you own, and know why you own it. Understanding the long-term potential of your investments can help you combat inflation risk. Now managing inflation risk by investing in stocks may expose you to other types of risk, such as market risk or even liquidity risk. Therefore, diversification amongst asset class is key. Stocks or mutual funds will provide you the hedge against inflation, while bonds or deposits can help in reducing the market risk. How much to invest in stocks? That is an interesting topic about which we will discuss in another video. Another risk to manage is the liquidity risk. Liquidity risk is the risk that you may not be able to sell your investment quickly enough without incurring significant losses. Just like it may take time to find a buyer for your lemonade stand, some investments may not be easily tradable. To manage liquidity risk, strike a balance between investments with various levels of liquidity. For example, stocks are generally more liquid, while real estate may take longer to sell. As the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Having a mix of easily tradable and longer-term investments can help you manage liquidity risk more effectively. Real estate investments are most illiquid. Similarly, buying stocks of unlisted companies is also risky from liquidity point of view. Lastly, one also needs to manage the concentration risk. Concentration risk is the risk of having too much of your investments in one particular asset or sector. Just like relying solely on lemonade sales for your income could be risky, investing heavily in one stock or industry can expose you to concentration risk. To manage concentration risk, diversify your investments across different assets and sectors. As Mark Twain famously said, put all your eggs in one basket and watch that basket. Diversification is a fundamental principle of risk management spreading your investments to reduce the impact of any single investment on your overall portfolio. We have discussed about concentration risk under managing market risk in this video. Diversify across asset classes. Within same asset class also, invest in different assets. As a thumb rule, do not cross 5% limit into one stock or one company. If at all you need to cross the limit, ensure that you have done enough research on the future prospects and credit risk associated with that company or asset. Now as we are coming to the end of this video, here is the important piece of advice which I had promised in the beginning. Greed is the real risk. I repeat, greed is the real risk. You need to control your emotions and do not get swayed by promises of out-of-this-world returns on any investment. If you are able to manage and control your greed, all other risks can easily be managed. To control greed, you need to rationalize your expectations and follow a proper plan. If needed, take advice from experts. In our other videos, we have discussed about diversification strategy in detail, 
which will help you in managing many risks and will also give you inputs on setting right expectations from investments. By taking calculated risks and making informed decisions, you can grow your wealth and achieve your financial goals. Thank you for joining us in this journey of financial wisdom. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends and colleagues.